to California. Hi, I'm Michael, and this is California Travel Videos. Now, in this episode, I'll be interviewing Garrett and Carolyn with their channel, Diary of a Family. On our last interview, I linked up with Grassroots Living, my next door neighbor on one side at the La Posa South BLM campground, that's Bureau of Land Management, at Quartzsite, Arizona. Now, on the other side, where I wedged in my RV, was Garrett and Carolyn, another YouTuber couple. They say that you're the average of the five people or families that you spend most of your time with. And as it always turns out, once you find one couple you like, you are very likely to enjoy the company of their friends, too. Of course, interviewing a couple among younger families of five is not an easy task, coupled with both Garrett and Carolyn working on the road, as we will discuss in the interview today. So, okay, let's go ahead and jump in on the show. Now, there are show notes below that show the time for the specific topic. So if you want to, go ahead and click on those links and you can jump to those areas that interest you. That's just fine. No, 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 no. Close that window. <laughs> the peanut gallery. <laughs> she has to be in everything. Well, it's been such a pleasure to meet both of you and uh, almost too. as much as your great three kids. And I'm just kind of <laughs> start off as that you are a diary of a family. Tell us a little bit about how you got into this whole thing. Well, do we want to start at the A beat? long time ago. So we are, as you can tell on the title below, are starting kind of a short series, a live stream of our journey as we transition to becoming RV nomads. Right. In 2017, yep. we went on a camping trip together as a family. Yep. All of our family members dropped out for one reason or another. <laughs> camping a tent? No, we, we had borrowed a um, pop-up pop pop tent oh, trailer yeah. and we were inviting everybody to come out and join us for like five days at Mount Rainier. Yeah. And oh, Mount Rainier. They, were, they all said, yeah, we can make it. And then they couldn't. And then they all couldn't. And so, at, I mean, we were there waiting for people to arrive and no one showed up. It was fun though. It yeah. was family. It was refreshing. We spent some of the night walking around the campsite with a baby in a stroller trying to help him go back uh, to sleep because he was cutting teeth. This is Edison. 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 Uh, and now he's six four. Months old. We asked Deal lots of questions. We yeah. watched lots of YouTube videos and we learned from our mistakes. We're still sometimes finding, oh, you know what? We've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> Oops. Yep. And uh, we just, you know, okay, well, I guess we better change what we're doing. God watches out over good people like I know, you. I'm I know. sure of that. But yeah. um, we'll get to where you, you're current, what you're doing with your work careers. But back in those days, uh, you were working in the city where you live then? Uh, we were in the same region. So we lived south of Seattle by about 45 minutes. And we were within, what, 15, 20 minutes of the work, hospital? My hospital, yeah. yeah. I worked um, for Multicare, and I worked for them for a good five years, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, as a baby nurse, I cut my teeth yeah. on patients there uh -huh. at their facility. So you had already had um, a family before you started becoming a nurse? Um, so Emma was born... While you were still in school. While I was still in nursing oh my school. Gosh. Uh, got, my senior married. year, she was yeah. born a month before I graduated. <laughs> like that. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mean, she is, all three of your kids are so wonderful. Well, congratulations you've done with her. So then, I guess after you had your first outing and things, is it, you must have had your appetite whetted and you had um, a he journey did. of several so vehicles? Or We oh, were on okay, a, you. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> right, Carolyn, you. <laughs> so we had camped for five days at a, we had a, pick an RV park or, or a campground because the one we wanted was book solid and it was first come first serve basically that's sad and it was like oh dang it so we another campground it was nice it was a lot of quiet, big rigs a lot of big rigs and we just did it for five days and barely any power yeah basically propane mm -hmm. lanterns you know that kind yeah. of stuff you were and, were you good sports about that oh, yeah. was there oh, yeah. not uh, too much tension then no at, it, at the that end was of camping it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was camping. At the end of it, we were like, hmm, on the way home, I just was, I had the idea. I was like, well, what if we did this full time? 
And I think you had started watching like KYD. Yeah, it was KYD or yeah. Less Junk More Journey or one of those channels. Mm -hmm. And yeah, where they a couple were, of great examples. Yeah, still work, and I was like, huh, like this could work. Like, what if we we did five days and with a screaming, teething child? <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe maybe this will work for us. And I I hadn't been watching those shows. I didn't know oh, very okay. much about it, it other side. than yeah. you know it was like what retired people do. <laughs> yeah, sort so, of. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So um, he brought it up, and I said, I don't know, we'll talk about it. And as the months went along, I kind of was won over to the idea. And we started talking to people online who do it, who yeah. were doing it at that time. Well, and you asked for, could would it cost less than what we're making right now? Like, so would well, our what expenses... Do we, what do we spend right yeah, now on right. a mortgage mm -hmm. and yep. insurance? So I did, a, I did a breakdown of everything that we made and the mortgage and the payments and everything that we had per month. And then I did a trip from here to somewhere in like South Dakota mm -hmm. for, and then I looked at a park that could stay a month at, yeah. and I'm like, okay, so this would be our monthly expenses. And it equaled pretty much less than what our mortgage yeah. payment was. It was a little bit less, yeah. That's great, now you were in uh, security for the government actually back yeah, in those I, days, weren't um, you? That's why I moved up to Seattle. I worked for about nine years with US Customs mm -hmm. and Border Protection. Um, and from there, I actually traveled all over and did some temporary duty assignments and other stuff. But primarily, I worked in the Seattle-Tacoma area uh, for the government. In a way, I guess that would be a great career and management potential, pressure and all the other stuff oh, that yeah. goes with it. But um, I get the feeling that you're fairly adaptive to learn new skills and follow yeah. your journey, it sounds like. Yes. I think at the beginning, we didn't think anything of the YouTube stuff, like, oh, we're not gonna learn that much, we're not gonna do very well. And I've seen him grow so much in his skills at editing and putting forth a story. Um, it's just been phenomenal. I mean, uh, and it's just with talking with other people who do it, mm -hmm. getting on a webinar here and there, and then just yeah. doing it. And he's done a really good job and come out of his shell. He used to be very much the quiet well, wall type person. Garrett already. certainly believes in himself now, that's for <laughs> sure. I mean, hey, raising three kids, you've got to. Carolyn, you're a nurse and yeah. now you're gonna be leaving tomorrow. Yeah. And tell us what's gonna happen tomorrow. Well, first let's go back to why, how we're oh, raising okay. our kids. Yes. And it's really our motto on our, on our channel, yeah. uh, to live life intentionally. Our kids are only gonna be little for so long and we wanna right. be intentional with our time with them. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, homeschooling. Uh, we're not just learning stuff out of books. We are going to those places and seeing and touching and feeling and asking questions and talking about it. And it's funny how we'll be riding down the road and somebody will mention, oh yeah, I remember going to the Grand Canyon and then they start talking about geology and the stones and this and that because they experienced nature yeah. as it was, right? They really fully immerse themselves in it and you two are wonderful examples of that. So yeah. I guess do you see yourself continuing to do this for more years? I mean, some people say, okay, this is going to be everyone. It, <laughs> it sounds like you like it. Yeah, everyone asks, do you have an exit plan or what is an your exit plan? plan? What's and your end like, game? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Well, we don't really have one yet. Even if we decide to purchase property, yeah, we're still going to probably have a maybe a tiny house or something small on it that we can rent out yeah. while we're not there you know there's so much of america that we want to see yeah. and, and we want to experience that why should we go back to the nine to five yeah yeah, yeah. And, and we think about it this has been a tremendous gift that you're giving your kids i mean yeah. as they grow up and they have their kids you know this legacy is going to go on so it's like really like you say, you have a, a big investment that you have yeah, there, and you yeah. do it intentionally, which is so smart. I wonder if <laughs> you guys are was, such smart people. <laughs> I think it was uh, keep your daydream. They started traveling when their kids were teenagers and later in life, mm -hmm. and they kind of are very much like, we wish we kind of could have done this earlier. We kept saying year after year, well, Maybe we should do this. Maybe we should yeah. do this. But they kept putting off their daydream. Their, yeah. They kept just daydreaming about it. Yeah. And instead they said, just get out there and do it. Just yeah. do it. And so we were like, do we want to wait until we retire? Do we want to wait until our kids are all grown up? Yeah. Or do we want to just go and do it? Mm -hmm. yeah. At this and, point, Edison has lived just as long in a trailer as he has 
in a house. Isn't that amazing when yeah. you think about it? Yeah. So on that note then, let's go to your current careers. I can't yeah. wait to talk about that. <laughs> and so, uh, which one of you want to start? I'll start. Okay. So I am a travel nurse and I've just, I'm coming off of four months of being um, without a contract because this guy was in school and he'll tell you about that in a minute. Yep. Um, so I picked up a contract, signed the, signed the contract on Friday and here it is, tomorrow is Friday, so a it's been ago. less than a week, yep. and they're like, we need you on the job Monday. <laughs> like, so oops. luckily, we were already looking in the Arizona area as we were coming to Arizona. So we're only a day or two from our our next contract, but it's 13 weeks. It's at a small facility in the Tucson area. They're brand new. They've only been open a few months, mm -hmm. but yeah. with COVID, they all of their patients yeah. are basically well and I'm patients. sure that having someone like you with the uh, talents and you know knows the processes and procedures already you're going to be a very strategic part yes. I guess the question will be is after the 13 weeks is that uh, will they try to entice you but I mean you can cross that bridge when you come to it but we usually say no when it comes to extending a contract okay. because we get antsy we want to keep moving on look and at three you months is Good a very for long you. time it but, is um, there, there was only one contract that we extended and it was in Louisiana, the first contract, because our next contract didn't start for three weeks and it was too much time in between without a paycheck. Okay. So we extended one week extra. <laughs> um, yeah. And that was it. That's the only one. And it's going to start getting hot in Tucson. I, by the I lived time. in Tucson and I understand where you're yeah. coming from. Yes. So we're going to start heading north pretty quick after that contract ends so that we can get out of the heat. Awesome. Yeah, you've got it figured out. Yeah. And your husband who has like been going to training and learn yet another skill. Yes. Garrett, tell us about what you're up to. So I am a certified RV technician. I went through the National RV Training Academy's certified RV tech course. And that is a five week intensive course that pretty much kicks you into the world of, I mean, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's a like lot. a fire hose. Of Drinking information. through a fire hose. Yeah. Yes, you're like, here, are you thirsty? Here's all the information. You're like, whoa, slow down. Um, but it is a fantastic course that really, I, I, by the end of it, you come out being like, okay, well, it's been a couple weeks since I've done this, but then you start doing it, you're like, oh, okay, it just all comes back. Mm -hmm. And so by doing the course, I think it really helped build my confidence and and kind of understanding the RV, understanding the different components that go into an RV. And then one of the benefits of the National RV Training Academy is that they have, they set you up and help you set your business up. They really do. They give you like extra information, not just here's the technical stuff. Yeah, but I heard See you ya. talking the other day, you know, get another laptop to have quick picks on it and things like that. Mm -hmm. is so that, yeah, obviously it was like show business. You think it's all like filmmaking and acting and things? No, it's a business first. Yes. Yeah, if you don't have a business. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, that's great. Do they have any kind of a network if you need to um, yeah. kind of get so stumped or like a tip? already used it. Yeah, Good. they have a private Facebook group that is for the technicians, and they have one that's for the inspectors. That's another course that you can go through there. And both are open for any kind of advice. You can put a picture on there saying, this is what I'm dealing with. I have a 2011 Mandalay that I am working on and this slide is not working right. <laughs> and then chances are someone in that group has probably worked on that type of motor, yeah. that type right. of model. Been and going and the calibration maybe. processes and all that uh -huh. stuff once you've changed it. I mean, they go over all that stuff in school, but then you get out into the real world and then you're like, oh yeah, that's right, I should check that. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. I totally forgot I should be checking that, and it's, it just clicks, and then it starts kind of getting ingrained. Because well, so are many in a, people have gone before you yeah. and have years and years of experience, that, so you draw from yes. that experience. The school of hard knocks, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. that side. And having, you know, sometimes a special tool or whatever, yeah. these things are an extra part, so you don't have to, like, order it out when your yeah. person needs it. But I guess you... Um, are in a very hot industry. This is growing yes. and you know a lot of people are buying new and still gonna have problems and there's a lot of used stuff out there so yeah. you feel pretty positive in terms of what the opportunities are? Yeah and I'm looking forward to being able to get into an area for an extended period of time. I wasn't able to get my name out there too much here at Quartzsite but oh. then yeah. we have to leave early so yeah. it really actually okay. worked out okay for mm -hmm. us yeah. um, to be able to do just a couple jobs here and there. Well I think so. also that you're um, YouTube channel 
is yeah. can nothing but compliment. I'm sure you can weave that in a little bit there. So yeah. tell us a little bit about your channel now. So we are Diary of a Family, like you can see up here. Uh, we're on. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, but primarily YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we do two videos a week. We do a Wednesday video, which is like an adventure video, tips, tricks video, you know, something like Anything that. Anything that we've shot in the last yep. month or so. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then on Saturdays, we do a community live stream. And I love your live stream. You we guys do a great to, job with it. We love to get connected with our D fam. Mm -hmm. That's what we call our community. Yep. Um, and we didn't come up with that name. Actually, one of our D famers came up with that when we were yeah. like, "Hey!" And it was a comment that he put in there mm -hmm. it clicked. It was like, "Yes, that works." Because it makes you a part of our family. Yeah. You are our D fam. So you're not really doing that to like your total revenue stream, obviously. No. It's no. it's. I get the feeling like you like to share. It's kind of a passion and it's something that um, you get a, an extended family basically like yeah. right here we've got a, oh, a half a dozen rigs that are out there and you know like dozens hundreds more yeah. of them right we've had some sort of co um, communication on our YouTube channel or on theirs for just about everybody in this whole area yeah. uh, minus one or two people yeah. so yeah it's it's been fantastic and you know we're connected really well with several and yes. then they have their connections and then they have their connections, and so we get to to meet new people. Like we just okay. met, we met a new couple today. And just on that note, though, it's interesting is that um, some would be like, "Oh, my flock is always with just kids," and you're uh, very flexible and have um, a big yeah. dichotomy yeah. of <laughs> different people, like retired and all across the board that some you're willing to be with. Some of our best friends don't have kids with them on the mm -hmm. road. Yeah, I mean. We're, we're trying to reach out to those that are interested in traveling with their families. Right. But along the way, we've met so many so people many. that either are empty nesters or retired, and they just enjoy kind of reliving. They have enhanced family our lives. Life as yeah. A, yeah. They've enhanced our lives, and we hope and pray that our lives have enhanced theirs as well. And just on that note, is that so you're very good that. Um, your kids, you're not overly protective. You obviously want to make sure that they're around good people. But I get the feeling is that, you know, as well, I've had the joy of you sharing your kids with me, because I'm just a kid at heart too. <laughs> but it's like, um, it seems like, you know, if they're out there playing in the desk and you're going to have to do laundry, it doesn't really bother you all that much. You want it them has, to be in the kids. past. It has. Yeah. It has. I okay. am learning to chill and relax okay. and, and not worry about things like that. I would when, think a nurse would be kind of like, no, don't get dirty. But you now it's like oh, you're can, kind of. I can cut the tip of my finger off and she's coo cool as a cucumber. <laughs> But then a little dust comes in. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like I the do. first kid when they you know drop the pacifier, you sterilize it. Second one, you dust it off. The third one, it's okay. I don't think I ever really Daddy's did picking that. picking food up off the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there, there is something to be said for building a good immune system. And yeah. I lived on a farm, mm -hmm. and I, I played in the dirt myself. So, <laughs> I, I don't see like. I, I don't want to coddle my children in that way. It's just, it's not healthy for, for kids to, to, to try to be clean all the time. I would like to actually work less as a nurse. I have done the breadwinning for quite a number of years now. Mm -hmm. um, we had a role reversal at some point mm -hmm. during our married life, and now I have actually been the one working full time longer yep. than him during our 10 year, almost 11 years of marriage. Um, it's been tough. Um, and I don't want that pressure on me anymore. I want to spend more time with my kids. Um, so and, and that's we're why, working on it. And that's why we really stepped into the the certified RV technician position because it's our own business. We have the freedom to travel and do how we want to do it. Anywhere. Then, yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we want to go to Montana for a month. We can do it. We can just go there for a month and then we'll stay around an RV park, a couple parks, and just say, hey, I'm here for a couple months. If there's any people yeah. in the RVs, there's yeah. 150 here yeah. that need any work done, let me yeah. know. So well, I'll put in the lower third, you know, your credentials there, but is there anything you'd like to say of your, your preferred way by telephone or what would be the um, way you would want people to most contact you? You can email you? me at garrett.mobilerviservices uh, at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can put the phone number in okay, there as I'll well. Put it down. Anything else you'd like to say? 
we just we're constantly praying that God will lead us in the right direction and yeah. it seems like our direction is slowly turning to something else that we didn't expect mm. it to be and you've got a very balanced life that you're doing so yeah, I can't congratulate to. you enough so you. we are very proud of you, thank you. <laughs> okay thanks a lot for the interview it's been great thank, thank you, you Michael for having us on I hope pleasure. that it's not too dark now. The sun has left. Oh, it's okay. It's just um, the romance lighting. is what you guys need <laughs> as a young married couple. <laughs> wow, what a great couple. And like all RVers, it's never time to say goodbye. Just hasta la vida, amigos. And in our third interview, I look forward to chatting with Brian and Lucy from Whoa Nelly Adventures. So until then, thanks for joining us. And as always... Happy trails to you until we meet again. Peace out. Bye for now. Have you been to California? Seen the sights and people there?